This is the English Literature Wave YouTube channel and I am Professor L.V. Gaikwad is teaching today the topic 17th Century Essay. This is the part 2nd and lecture 2nd. The topic is the essay in the latter half of the 16th century. Now, to discuss this latter half of the century, we will see that various romances in essays were written in this later half of the 16th century. It means there were the romances. Romances means we will see the love stories were or the stories, wayward stories were written in those days. These uh, romances were written in the essay style which was progressed by John Lilly. It means that the John Lilly expressed this style of writing the romances essays. The pamphlet years express the journalistic style with enthusiasm and cast a spirit. Remember the journalistic style was discussed and progressed by the uh, by the writer uh, who were writing the pamphlets and uh, those uh, pamphlets or the style was developed with the enthusiasm and cast a spirit. Sermon writing reached in this period the literary height. It means that the sermons were uh, being written in those days and they had got the literary height. John Donne, the poet essayist, wrote the special sermons in the essay formats. Means then the philosophical poet that is called the essayist John Donne came and he wrote his special sermons in the essay types. Then James Lisher and Joseph Hall have also written the significant sermons. Daniel Defoe's A Defense of Rhyme in 1602 acknowledged the essay as the literary masterpiece with a spirit and an encouragement as a main principle. It means here the essay of Daniel Defoe, A Defense of Rhyme in 1602 became very much uh, uh, popular or uh, attractive uh, principle for the essayist. Then the next point is Bacon's era. Bacon is the famous popular no essayist, uh, the great gentleman uh, he became the great gentleman through his complex and character sketches. Though Philip Sidney was writing essays, the major essayist was Bacon. Bacon published Essays Small Series in 1597. Bacon's all essays expressed theme in bravery and philosophy. Now we are going to the end of the topic. Uh, that is called the uh, conclusion. At 16th century, in 10 years, the writers wrote the story serial based on truth. This story serial was written in farcical spirit showing very poor people's lives. Through this, the picaresque novel came into existence. The picaresque novel came from the Picaro, that is the rogue in 1553. Here the hero and the heroine live the unprincipled lives with silly maze adventures. It means that these uh, hero and heroines have no principles at all. They do always against the moral principles. This picaresque novel couldn't get the best response in the Elizabethan England period. So here today we have finished the lecture second also. Again we will meet uh, 
again we will meet with a new topic till then thank you thank you very much